Ingredients used for the eggless fruit cake are refined flour, condensed milk, butter, margarine, baking soda, baking powder, aerated soda, caramel for color, mixed fruits. Now here what I am going to do is I am going to line the butter paper with the grease proof paper if you see I have cut it slant okay so now I am going to turn this make sure I am going to give it a base over there uh, your butter paper basically grease proof paper are also known as your butter paper fold it over there see like this now place this over here and that folded part should come to the base we put it down like this again and then put the circular base GP paper I'm going to start with uh, my dry ingredients so first is my refined flour in this I'm going to put baking soda and baking powder I'm going to sieve this nicely uh, you can do this like I have done in this recipe so I am doing it before you can do this before only so that everything is ready once before you start making the cake mix it properly it's very important to mix all the ingredients properly because both the chemical raising agents had gone inside over here so it mixing is a very very important part over here I'm going to start with butter I'm going to soften it up nicely okay now this was if it has it was kept in the fridge uh, make sure you soften it up if it was not then uh, always remember to keep it outside for some time so that it's easier for you to soften it up uh, we are using half butter and half margarine over here uh, so always start with butter first you know don't start with margarine first otherwise there would uh, lumps would be formed inside it and we don't really want lumps over here which is which are very difficult to remove once your butter is nicely softened up then only you can put your margarine inside it okay so now over here i'm putting my margarine even the margarine what you're taking make sure it is also softened up see i'm checking whether it is softened up or not and there are no lumps i had done that on the table before only and now i'm just putting it putting the margarine over here inside the whole purpose is just to mix this properly so mix it uh, properly because if both are not creamed properly the lumps would be formed which is again very difficult to remove later on 
cream it nicely soften it up nicely very 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 important then I'm going to put condensed milk inside here okay now uh, here I'm not putting any sugar because condensed condensed milk itself is very sweet okay but if you still feel uh, feel that after eating the cake that you uh, very uh, it's not very uh, exactly what sweetness you require in that case you can put a little amount of uh, powder sugar inside it okay or a caster sugar inside it around 20 to 40 grams is more than enough okay do not uh, you know uh, uh, remove the formula balancing what we have done over here Okay, don't disturb that formula balancing it's very very important otherwise there can be chances that your cake will not come out right now these are your fruits over here these are mixed fruits here I have put candied peel tutti frutti is there black raisins are there uh, raisins are there I'm going to coat them with uh, refined flour cashew nuts also are there okay now the whole reason behind coating them with refined flour is that they don't go sink in the base otherwise what happens is when you put this flour inside put this fruits inside in the mixture they uh, before baking this sink inside at the base and we don't want that to happen we want it to be distributed evenly now i'm measuring the aerated drink over here uh, because this is a fruit cake uh, i am using a plain aerated drink if you wish to have a little more oranges flavor you can also add uh, your mirinda or fanta inside it and a caramel for color again color is on your choice how much you want uh, different caramel brands will have different colors like uh, density of color so according to that this is normally what we suggest this color okay, so i'm adding a little more uh, do not add too much of do not add too much of that or uh, caramel also uh, it can make your product a little bitter so just as much as required now whatever leftover flour was that there that i'm putting inside over here the moment your flour goes inside it i'm going to remove my wooden spoon over here and i'm going to uh, fold it with the spatula scrape out do not waste anything cut and fold okay. do not over mix it put all the flowers uh, sorry to put all the fruits you can put hazelnuts walnuts okay and the aerated ring so you can put different different types of fruits inside it okay it all depends on you. I have put candied peel also inside it. Sultana, Kishnis, a lot of different fruits are there. Only make sure the whole total quantity is around 150 grams. Okay, that is what is required for this recipe. Mix it properly. Again, do not over mix it. And this has to immediately go for baking. So now put it into the tin, the tin which we had prepared. I'm going to nicely scrape out and put it in the tin. This mixture is already quite, uh, you know, uh, liquidy. So you don't need to add anything else because already have a liquid ingredient which is your aerated soda. Now bake it at 150 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes.